Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today, guys, we are going to be making a review on lethality.io. That being said, let's get started. Alright, so I've gotten a lot of lot of requests of making a video on lethality.io and giving you opinions of honest opinions of what I think about the cheat. So one of their owners told me if I should make a review on it and they just said why not. So let's go ahead and begin. Alright, so go ahead and open up the menu. All you guys gotta do is hit insert on your keyboard. That'll bring up the menu. I'm using Lethality Remastered for this videos because it's the newest one. So I'm using that. Alright, so we got a legit bot, rage bot, visuals, miscalculus, whatever that's whatever that's pronounced. Let's just call that miss lobbies configs and a snake game which is pretty new let's see like it's i think you control it with your arrow keys which you do and there's actually this is pretty cool this is kind of new i don't know it's i've not seen this before in another cheat but it's pretty cool and there's also stats here which has the first one and watch like that so that's also nice all right so let's go and start with the legit bot so they have a trigger bot of course which you can enable and disable and choose your mouse for that i'm gonna go ahead and keep it i mean i don't quite i keep it a mouse for but i don't quite use this very often so i'm gonna hit ignore that so we have rifle weapon um, whatever that means so if you f if you want a specific setting for an AK-47 you can go ahead and choose that But if you want a specific setting just for like a if you want a pistol a specific setting for pistols You can do that by hitting the pistol thing there choosing the pistol you want or you can just go ahead and do a default and choose it for all pistols and then the same do does goes with the like SMGs and the AKs and the shotguns and the snipers We go to the pistols and you just for example you have Enable aimbot, you have non-sticky non mode, I mean you can choose a key for the aimbot of course. Aimbot FOV, like usual, everyone has that. Uh, aimbot smooth, regal control, you can always do that. And control smooth, nearest, you can choose that a lot. Uh, for example, you can go to a chest or whatever you want. I usually keep it at uh, nearest, where is it, there it is. Uh, and enable backtrack, you can choose a backtrack ticks. And then this is pretty cool, you got trigger bot, hitboxes, you can just choose where you want to. Instead of there's a menu, like you have item. This guy over here which you can choose where you want to hit uh, the tricky bots so and which places you want to so you can choose that so that's pretty much it for the legit bot stab all right now for the rage bot i'm not gonna go over the rage bot just because i don't know i don't think this is a much of a hvh sheet don't give it wrong if, if it is because i don't have much experience with lethality.io so i don't know if it is for hvh or not but let's go over the simple settings i don't know we got all of that so you can reach through this if you want to i don't know much about hvh so don't trust me hvh community and we got anti aim rage and bot if you want to use that that's that they do have this i mean like they do have the hvh features we gotta give them that so if you're in a match and everyone is legit and you want to go hvh you can, i mean like you want to go rage mode boom there it is you have the features to do that like they have fake like stuff here i don't know fake like factor I mean, it looks like it could be a I don't know, but it, it it might be a good HVHC. I don't know. I've not tested it to so I cannot quite say much. NCA move here and all of that stuff we got there. So you got so, so you do have this um HVH features like you you have it there, right? So yeah, I mean this is it's 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 the aimbot is working fine in my opinion. You can switch it up. There's got a lot of options which you can choose from. So yeah, let's go on to the visual stab now. All right, so for the visual stab, basically we got here we got a lot of stuff going. Basically you have stream proofing if you want to do that. You can do and do that. I'm not stream proofing at the moment. If I was streaming anyway, if I wanna if you wanna have it, you obviously wanna go ahead and check that and we'll fix everything up for you, which you cannot do. So you have player visuals, player box. If you wanna go ahead and use that, you can choose that. If want i don't like the looks of it so i don't use that i, mean, I don't like the looks of any box to be honest on any cheats clear chance you can go ahead and choose that as the wireframe or if you want it like metallic or if you want it however you want i don't like i'd probably like use metallic just because it's easy to see but you can go ahead and switch it up to however one you like and then you got a player weapon you can do that also if you want to go and see what weapons they have or what like icon and all that stuff you can go and choose that player glow if you want them to glow boom you can make them glow player name you'll it'll tell, it'll tell you the name armor snap lines basically tell you or link you whatever where everyone is show backtrack whenever they like move they'll show you the backtrack either diffuse and if that has a bomb they'll tell you that they have a bomb player visual settings so visible only for champs if you want to go ahead and do that you can do that basically that's um i think is this is the wall hack is disabled if you check this i want it i want to play with wall. basically if you check this it is it's kind of like only champs so if you like the wall hack will be removed but i like to play with wall hack it's because i know it's more fun and then we got visible only for box 
A small check for whatever that is and enemies only, if you want to do that, of course, I'll almost check that because you don't want your ASP and your metallic champs and all that shit on your teammates. Now for the item visuals, I don't use any of this, but you can read through this if you want, lots of shit going on here, War world visuals, uh, you can go ahead and do, this is kind of a uh, night mode or something, like you can switch it up a little bit, uh, I like this specific a lot, I don't know why, but I think in my opinion it just looks really really dope and I like to keep it at a lion like I don't like I like to keep it at one actually no mode and holy shit this was bright do not recommend doing that and boom my game just fucking crashed oh it didn't actually crash uh this is I would probably not recommend doing this let's go ahead and switch back actually holy shit this is taking a really long time to load the okay you know what let's go ahead and remove the minecraft mode and you get the thing right you get it it's different modes local player visual so you can uh, chase up your FOV which is view model I mean you can also do your like how zoomed in or zoomed out you want. Alright, so I'm gonna go over the inventory changer at first. So let's say I would like a AK-47. Click that. You want let's say I want a blood spore AK-47. You, you can choose your stickers here, all of that stuff. You then you basically you can choose a name tag, let's say like Rux Lol lol I don't know what the fuck. Just click on add weapon. Once you do that, pops up over here. And then you can go ahead and do it with every other skin. Let's say I want an op, Azimov, and you can choose everything here. Click on add weapon, and if it pops up over here, which it did, means it's successfully added. You can go back and you will see that you have added a op Azimov to your team. You do that, now you get an op, and it's an Azimov. Boom. 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 Oh, but, but you get the point, it's easy. And if you, let's say you want a knife, you go to page 2 over here, that's where all the knives are. Let's say I want a Bowie knife, and I want it to be some sort of Doppler, and I want the name to be Rock Special Knife that no one gives a fuck. Oh, shit. You click on Add Item. Once you do that, it will be added, and if it's added, then you will see that it's added, basically you add, and you can do right click, disable, I mean enable, I mean replace, I don't know, and then you go back to game, and then you will see that you have this Bowie knife, which is named Rock Special, that no one gives a fuck about, and yeah, that's pretty much it, how you add stuff to your thing, and then and they also have a model changer, which is really, really dope, I mean, I can link a video to it with the word tabs where, which is another says go YouTuber, check him out. By the way, I'll leave a link to his video in the description down below, which you can check out and it will tell you how to add model changers and all of that stuff. Check it out if you want to learn that. Um, he has a good uh, tutorial on that. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the MISC tab. Let's go to like the lobby stuff. Basically, this is, I think, I don't, I'm not sure what this is, but I think if, if it's another like guy that is using lethality and is in the same like match as you, I think it will pop up over here so you will know if he has a lethality day or not, I think it's something like that. And, and then we get config step which you can go ahead and make your own config and then you can basically save and I don't know load and all that stuff, uh, you can do that, uh, and now we got, we got snake game, basically this is pretty cool, you have your snake game if you wanna play, I don't know if you just died in CSGO and you have nothing to do, you can go ahead and just play this in game, boy this is pretty cool. As you can see, I'm failing terribly, but yeah, fuck that. But anyway, guys, you guys get the point, so it's a great cheat, in my opinion. It works absolutely fine. If you want to go out and buy it, you can use the code RUX to save yourself some money. Anyway, guys, that was it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, much, much appreciated by me. If you guys want more of this kind of uh, content, if you guys want more videos with the Tadidi, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, my name is RUX, and I'm out. Give a damn about what they talking about. I don't rank up. All these girls are doing low. When did we just kept it low?